How Jeff Bezos built Amazon. How Amazon started, grew, and became a trillion dollar company, Amazon.com Incorporated. Popularly known as Amazon, was founded by Jeff Bezos, an American entrepreneur. Amazon started as an online bookstore but is now a multinational company and the largest e commerce marketplace and clouding platform in the world. In 1994, Bezos quit his job as vice president of D.E. Shaw & Co., Wall Street firm, and relocated to Seattle, Washington, where he devised a business plan for a new company. This move was fueled in part by his regret for not taking part in the internet business boom at the time. In July 1994, Bezos named his new company Cadabra Incorporated, but it was quickly discarded when Bezos' lawyer disclosed that he misheard the name as Cadaver over the phone. By September 1994, Bezos toyed with the name Relentless, which was also scrapped because his friends told him the name sounded sinister. The Relentless domain is still owned by Bezos and redirects to the current website. Eventually, Bezos settled on the name Amazon, an authoritative name that referenced the largest river in the world. This reference also represented his vision of making the company the biggest in the world. Its launch tagline was Earth's biggest bookstore. He once told a reporter, there's nothing about our model that can't be copied over time. But you know, McDonald's got copied, and it still built a huge, multi-billion dollar company. A lot of it comes down to the brand name. Brand names are more important online than they are in the physical world. Bezos did his research on the future of the internet that predicted the growth of annual web commerce at 2,300%. So he created a list of products that could be marketed online and narrowed it down to what he believed would be the most promising. These products included compact discs, computer hardware and software, videos and books. In the end, he decided that because of the enormous worldwide demand for literature, the low unit prices for books and a large number of books available in print, his new business would sell books online. Bezos invested almost $250,000 to start up Amazon at the garage of his rented house in Bellevue, Washington. In July 1995, Amazon sold its first book, Douglas Hofstadter's Fluid Concepts and Creative Analogies, Computer Models of the Fundamental Mechanisms of Thought, and in the next two months sold to all 50 states in the US and more than 45 countries with sales up to $20,000 each week. By October the same year, Amazon announced its intention to go public. When eBay was established in 1995, Amazon tried to compete with its own auction site. The project failed, but Bezos was not unhappy. He bought the skeleton of an Ice Age cave bear for $40,000 and had it displayed in the entrance hall of the company headquarters next to a sign that read, Please don't feed the bear. The sign is still there till date. In 1996, Amazon was reincorporated in Delaware and its employee count went up to 11, which prompted its move out of Bezos' garage into a small warehouse that would become its second official headquarters. On May 1997, Amazon issued its first public stock offering at $18 per share. Around this time, Amazon was sued by Barnes & Noble who declared that Amazon's claim to the world's largest bookstore was unfounded, as it isn't a bookstore at all, it's a book broker. The suit was subsequently settled out of court and Amazon continued to make the claim. In October 1998, Amazon was sued by Walmart who claimed that Amazon stole Walmart's trade secrets by employing former Walmart executives. This suit was also settled out of court, but Amazon had to put internal restrictions in place as well. But Amazon had to put internal restrictions in place, as well as the reassignment of the form of Walmart offices. In the same year, Amazon went on to take over companies such as Drugstore.com, Pets.com, and Overstock.com. In 1999, Amazon attempted to branch out into the publishing business by buying a discontinued imprint, Weather Wayne, a trade name under which it would publish books. According to The New Yorker, an American magazine, the books the company published were selected with no apparent thought. The imprint disappeared soon after and by 2014, Amazon agents conveyed that they had never even heard of it. Also in 1999, Amazon's online shopping gained national spotlight and recognition when Bezos was named the Person of the Year by Time Magazine for successfully popularizing cyber shopping. In June 2000, Amazon updated its logo including the curved arrow, shaped like a smile moving from the A to the Z that is popular around the world today. It was also at this time that the online platform started offering free shipping on orders about $100 and the platform opened up to accept third-party sellers. Some sources claim that Amazon had not expected to make profits for at least four years, 
the sluggish growth that caused shareholders to complain that the company's profitability was not fast enough to justify their investments in the long term. The internet bubble burst that occurred roughly from 1995 to 2000 as a result of the extreme growth in the usage and adjustment of the internet destroyed many e-companies. However, Amazon survived this bleak period and moved on to become a huge participant in online sales. Towards the end of 2001, Amazon finally turned its first profit of $5 million at one cent per share on revenue of over $1 billion, which was extremely little, but it proved that Bezos' unorthodox model of business could actually succeed. Between 2001 and 2011, Amazon experienced rapid growth. In 2002, Amazon Web Services was launched for developers to include features of Amazon.com into their own websites. In that same year, Bezos launched the concept of two pizza teams to the company. It was a concept that involved organizing employees into groups consisting of less than 10 people. The ideal amount that would be satisfied by two pizzas for dinner, who were expected to work independently. The teams were given strict goals and equations were used to measure their success. Bezos once said, communication is a sign of dysfunction. It means people aren't working together in a close, organic way. We should be trying to figure out a way for teams to communicate less with each other, not more. It was a widely hated concept among the Amazon employees, due mostly to the stress involved. In 2004, Amazon's online shopping sales finally surpassed the book sales for the first time in the history of the company. In 2005, the new extremely popular membership program, Amazon Prime, was launched. In 2007, Amazon launched new services like Home Grocery Delivery Service, the online music store, and the now famous electronic reader. They were labeled Amazon Fresh, Amazon Music, and Amazon Kindle, respectively. In 2008, Amazon released a feature that customers would pay for, which allowed advertisers to direct Amazon traffic to their own sites. This feature was named Product Ads. Amazon in recent years, in 2010, the Kindle electronic book sales finally exceeded that of printed books for the first time in the history of the company. By 2011, Amazon had grown to be an employer of up to 30,000 full-time employees, and at the end of 2017, the number had skyrocketed to 566,000 worldwide. In June 2017, Amazon announced its intentions to use $13.7 billion to acquire Whole Foods, an extravagant supermarket chain with more than 400 stores, a move that media experts figured would strengthen its physical presence. By August, the acquisition was approved. As of August 2018, Amazon owns 5% shares of retail spending in the US, as well as 43.5% share of online spending with a net income upwards of $3 billion. In 2019, Amazon bought Cloud Endure for $250 million, Eero for $97 billion, Bebo for $25 million, Zooks for $1.2 billion. Amazon will continue acquiring more and more businesses in the upcoming years. And today, Amazon is worth over $1,589 billion, which makes Amazon the biggest company in the world. Thank you so much for sticking till the end of the video. Comment down your experience with Amazon. Also comment some beautiful words for Jeff, the richest man in the world. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time.